July 8, 1997, saw Emperor release the album Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk. Quick disclaimer, none of the riffs featured in this video were taken from that album. But they probably could have been. So Anthems is my favourite Emperor album by far, that's why I chose to do this one. Uh, I may do another one at some stage, but like I said, this is my favourite, so that's what I'm going to start with. Hopefully it's your favourite too, and uh, at least we both enjoyed doing this. Um, I want to start by saying that Pitten uh, was the producer behind the album. It was recorded in Grieg Hall, like so many famous black metal albums. Um, you can really hear the band coming into their own on this album. There's a lot of technical proficiency. Uh, I believe Pitten also was coming into his own. He really nailed the sound, what they were going for. I believe this is some of the best black metal ever recorded. Um, obviously, for those who don't know, well, obviously not obviously, um, Pitten is famous for his work with the Burzum albums, the first Mayhem Emperor albums, the list goes on. So he has a heavy hand in getting a lot of these tones. Let's listen to what I came up with in the full mix and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm going to make a note, like I do in most of these old school uh, black metal tone breakdowns, that there's a common misconception that the albums are shitty sounding. They're not, and the guitar tones have been thoughtfully crafted. Um, I'll explain how I achieved my tones at the end, and I don't believe I'm far from what actually happened in the studio when the album was created. Um, you will hear a sense of finesse. There are no mistakes, there's a lot going on. You've got synth, you've got uh, dual track guitars, meaning one left, one right. Uh, you've got drums going on. I believe they were all raw uh, hits, uh, no samples, not stacked. Um, it's a pretty damn clean recording and you've got to give props to the producer and band for that. There's not too much going on. It's just great takes, great tones, great miking techniques. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say there, but, uh, let's listen to these guitar tones by themselves because I want to give you a clear indication, like I always do, of how they sound by themselves, not in the full mix, so you get a good clear picture of what's going on. used for this album was a PV Bandit. I used two mics, one close mic, one at a distance. The album was recorded in a hall, so for the distant mic I placed some reverb uh, that was post, meaning after the fact of recording. Uh, I did choose a hall setting, though I dialed it back, I didn't mix it in too heavy because those of you who do know, uh, when you're playing around with a reverb, it's going to make your mix get out of hand very fast. So, base of the tone was a PV Bandit, 